What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So getting ready to head over to the barn at Sanford, Florida for the freaking Trucks Gone Wild Truck Tugs. We're going with a mad scientist with his freaking super bitch and adrenaline mega truck. Freaking 1300 horsepower, supercharged LS motor. Freaking thing is real freaking deal. Freaking new body style GMC. No freaking expense spared, I'll tell you that. I was actually over at his house earlier this morning helping him get the truck all loaded up because he's actually borrowing my trailer to get his truck there. Huh, yeah, that's right, Mr. Mad Scientist. All the freaking smack you're always talking to me about blowing trailer tires. Ah, uh, who's borrowing my trailer? Who? I can't talk a whole lot of smack, though, because no BS. For the first probably two years of me having a mega truck, I didn't even have a trailer for it. I was borrowing the Mad Scientist. He had a different trailer at that point in time. So, anyways, regardless, getting ready to hop in the old dually and head on over to the barn so we can go watch some trucks freaking get some tires. Whoa, 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 whoa. Freaking smoking them up. I don't know if anybody's gonna be shooting no nitrous in the air because we ain't gonna be there, but I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some diesel smoke flying in the air. Hopefully, some flame flying out, some exhaust. Freaking getting super pumped up. So, hope you all enjoy the video. Make sure you hit the like button at the bottom of the screen and hit the subscribe button down there in my channel name. That way, you'll get notified anytime I upload any other videos like when we're bringing my super bitch and killing a mega truck back to life. Or when we're doing some cool boat stuff. And <laughs> All kinds of neat stuff on the channel. So make sure you scroll through the channel when you're done with this video. Check it out. We got some neat stuff coming on there. Well, let's hurry up and quit jawing and get in the freaking truck and get this driving part out of the way because we got some cool stuff coming your way. It's freaking party time. strippers and cocaine back home bro <laughs> all right y'all we finally made it to the freaking truck tucks looks like we got a pretty good turnout going on look at all the trucks Ooh. not bad not bad at all it's still pretty early yet so i'm sure we're gonna have a lot more trucks showing up but it looks like there's a couple new ones that I ain't never even seen before. Big old freaking Duramax right there. Got Kenway Jr. showed up. Oh, yeah. Super banging. Let's go check out this K Haas truck. I did a little walk around of this truck back when he first got it done. But it's been a little minute. So let me go show you all what he's working with. It's pretty freaking cool. God, look at the size of that American flag. America. Hell yeah. Jeez. Okay. Thing is a beast, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that monster. Go. That is a big old girl. What a mother freaking tank. Thing is gigantic. Yeah, this guy, I ain't seen him before. Thing is sweet. Looks like he's got the 20 ton hybrids too. No rear steer. This is a DDC truck. I like the wrap. Hmm. 
like how it's very uh, clean and simple underneath. Not a lot, a whole lot of nonsense going on. I can dig it. Thing is freaking huge. Looks like old EDC took care of them seals like he did my axles. Hmm. Moving on. Oh, I really like the hydraulic steps. And that looks cool. It's like a rib cage or something. How much is this tire? Looks like little Blue's trying to put some more rubber on the ground. I ain't seen him do this before. Check this out. So he's got, so he had four tires. And now he's got four more. So now that'd be eight tires total. Huh. Double the tires, double the traction. Boy is getting after it. It'd be better if he was killing it though. You heard me? All right, y'all. So finally made it into the pits at the freaking truck tugs. And it looks like there's a pretty good turnout of trucks. Check this out. For the summer event, because I'm not going to lie, it's kind of hard to get people to come to this event, at least like uh, contestants, because it's so freaking hot out. So some people whine about coming, but dude, there is a lot of good looking trucks. I'm a little bit, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit down that I don't have mine, but definitely going to be a great video, a great show. So I'm pretty sure that we're going to have the driver's meeting here in about a half hour or so, but then I'll give you a little walk around, we'll look at all the trucks, give you a rundown on what I know about some of the trucks that are here, because a lot of them are our buddies. And then, uh, then we're gonna start freaking smoking some tires, throwing some diesel smoke in the air. We're gonna have some exhaust freaking fire. No, no fires. We're not gonna have no fires. No fires. It's, not. it's gonna be super freaking bitching, y'all. Uh, <laughs> All right, y'all. Now that the driver's meeting's over, let's freaking photobomb. Let's do a photobomb. <laughs> Back to the show. All right. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna walk around and give you a little rundown of all the trucks. Up uh, first is obviously Mr. Adrenaline. God, that thing is so freaking cool. It's a Brian Austin. Makes the most amazing freaking stuff. Truck is looking on point. I'll have you all know, you watch the video, I freaking hand spray wax this whole damn thing the other night. That's why it's looking all so on point. I don't mean to take a lot of credit, but thing is looking freaking sexy. Badass Duramax. This thing's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen this truck before. I kind of feel like I might have, but I don't, I'm not even sure what who is. Ooh, he's got the spike glove covers and all. Pretty cool. We're pretty dialed in. And then we got freaking Kenny Wayne Jr. Always showing out. Getting ready to go rip some people backwards with his rig. Thing is looking super tight. We got scraps. Definitely never seen that Jeep before, but oh man, Brian's probably getting super excited. Mad Scientist, he is a real big Jeep guy, if y'all didn't know. He's probably loving that thing. Got a little blue, added some extra tires on. And this is Cody Genwright's new truck. He just got this, like he said, I think it was like about a month ago. Ben, not bad. Looks kind of cool. I definitely like the stacks. That's probably my favorite thing. I like the bed stacks. Kind of an interesting shape. I don't know if I like the triangle shape. It's kind of cool. But I'd rather have the big, super freaking massive chrome ones. So we got another Dodge. We got... Hmm. Not sure who this guy, but his name is right. His name is hell, yeah. That's a freaking sweet name. This is the demon truck that the mad scientist pulls against. Thing's super freaking cool. Mad Scientist actually does pretty damn good against this truck too. I like his new wrap. Kind of carbon fiber-ish looking. I like this pretty sweet. Oh, wow. What up with it, bro? What's going just, on? I was just talking about your Jeep a second ago. So you had four tires, and now you've got eight tires. <laughs> yes, sir. So that's like four times the amount of traction. So you got like the equivalent of 18,000 pounds in your Jeep. Sounds great. And he's got first pull. We got first pull, but wasted money. Wasted money. What truck is that? That is the uh, Green Ranger. Oh, that's going to be sweet. That's going to be that's going to be a good pull. All right. I'm going to keep walking around, checking all, right. all the trucks, and then yeah. we're going to freaking watch your first pull. You better freaking light the tires off that thing. Oh, we're people are going to be watching, bro. You got it, bro. We got this. Better, better, got, better we, let it rip, Tater Chip. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. We got to take a little break from walking around because our boy, he's got that badass Magnum. It was in like a lot of videos ago, probably like 20 videos ago when he was here at the barn and he has this Magnum that is freaking rappy. What's in that thing? What kind of motor? In the Magnum? Yes. It had a, uh, a 440 in it. 440. It, it was last, super bitchy. Didn't last. Didn't last. So now, 
Hold on, let me spin the camera around. So now he's got this thing. Ooh, I like the exhaust though. This is where you end up. That's freaking tight, right out the freaking fender well. Hell yeah. You gotta let it rip, dude. What kind of engine's in it? It's got a six liter. Six liter? Oh yeah, LS. Yeah. Oh, and how much, any idea how much that thing weighs that you got? That's about 2,000 pounds. 2,000 pounds? Let's do it. Oh, it makes, brother. It makes you squat a little bit. That thing is a 3,500. Yeah? It don't look like it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Super cool. All right, y'all, sorry about that, but I want to talk to him. He's super cool, dude. He's got a really badass, that Magnum thing. Y'all should definitely go try to find that video because it is sick. And anyways, we're gonna, all right, they're starting to get trust going, so I gotta hurry up with my walk around. So let's keep going. We got this rig. Not too shabby. All right, now going back to the backfield. What do we got back here? Yeah, we got most of it. But here, we'll, we'll hit the backfield and then we'll get the couple trucks that we missed. And then we gotta hurry up so we get up there for the first tug. Look at the size of this thing. Holy Toledo. I don't know that I've ever seen this truck or tires this big. Oh, and he ground off the size. What a butthole. So we don't even know what they are. I've never, oh wait, these, these ones, oh, they're still on here. What is this? A 520-85 R46. Bruh, this thing is gigantic. Wow. All right, hold on. Let me flip the camera out so you guys got an idea. Well, let's let's look at it first, and then I'll flip it around. I kind of like his little case, Theo. It's like a whole hundred dollar bill. Seventy-five grand. Y'all can buy it. Um, but he doesn't have a way to contact him on that sign. Hm. Should have done that, bro. I like the sparkliness to his freaking wheels. This kind of needs like a bass boat. Huge freaking shackle. Jesus. Dude, this thing is, all right, I gotta show you how tall this is. So I'm mother freaking 6'1", and the tires are, let me get close to, yeah, this is me standing straight up. The tires are freaking massive, dude. And look, the, the running board is like way above my head. Let me show you. Dude, with my arms stretched out, I barely can reach the running board. Holy crap. So he definitely must detire this thing to be able to trailer it because it is gigantic. That's like as tall as my truck is on the freaking trailer. This thing, I, all right, it's, I think it might be my favorite one. Well, other than Brian's, Brian's is definitely my favorite. It's got dual triangulated suspension. So, ooh, ooh, that's not supposed to do that. Okay, wonder why that's like that. But anyways, dual triangulated suspension. So that's what, anyone, if you ever heard them say dual triangulated, that's what they mean where it's like in the back it's a triangle and in the front it's a triangle it's pretty cool it gives you a little more clearance for your wheels and everything kind of neat all right so now we got the diamond diesel truck i think it's pretty freaking cool he's got dual triangulation too so yeah like i was saying again triangle on the bottom triangle on the top gives you more clearance so that your tire can turn in while that actually hitting your four-link bar because usually like on my truck my four link would attach way out here so your bar would be running right here. Yeah, and he wouldn't be able to get the turning radius that he gets. Just a little oh, food for thought, y'all. Little tidbits. I don't know much, but I try to tell you what I do. Wow, pretty sure these are just welded like water tanks. Yeah, it's not solid steel, but it looks kind of cool. It's definitely getting powder coated. And if you're gonna get a powder coated, what should you do? Go to freaking Mikey's Custom Coatings with the best freaking powder coat in this side of Mississippi. Letting you know, bro. Anyways, moving on. American Pride. Interesting little hookup he's got going on there, and it's quite a. It's kind of interesting too. Whatever. I got, oh God! It's got bald eagle on the back. You know what you got to do. If you don't want to have to put a bald eagle on the back, you know what you do. You put a bunch of bald eagles under the hood, like them Duramax bald eagles we're about to have under the killing mega truck. <laughs> Letting you know. Then we got Mikey's super badass freaking truck. Things looking clean as ever. I love his new wrap with the freaking cheetah print. That goes real good with my whole Motley Crew persona. <sighs> Let you know, dude. Just need to start letting that stuff rip out of them freaking speakers. I know you like your rap music with your big blow through speakers and subs, but uh, a little bit of Motley Crew wouldn't hurt you. Does the body good. Looking pretty clean. And this is, I think, I think he might be letting JHD still drive his truck too. 
know if I agree with that decision. And then, ooh, look at that freaking stack. Man, there's all kinds of neat stuff. The size of freaking stack on this guy. And it's a Ford, but, eh, whatever. We can't all be perfect. What else we got? This truck. So many of these trucks I've never seen before, which is weird. I feel like I've seen a lot of them. And this guy. I like how everybody went the extra mile and cleaned their truck before the tugs, you know? Oh, these are cut and scoop too. So that's where they take a hot knife and cut all that extra rubber out. And it doesn't actually, I mean, it obviously it takes away a little bit of the life of the tire. Not the life, but like the, the robustness of the tire. But with us, it doesn't matter because these things are so way overkill for what we're doing. But you take all that extra rubber out and it's like a hot knife that cuts it out. And then it makes your tire weigh like freaking almost 100 pounds, maybe 150 pounds lighter per corner. Which when you got like 600 pounds per corner, you drop it down to five, you can get a lot more wheel speed. You can definitely get those things freaking ripping. It's pretty badass. It's definitely worth doing. Um, some people don't like it because they're like, oh, well, it cuts into the rubber and the tire's not as thick. So if I hit something, then it might chew it up. And they might have a point, but honestly, I don't know. I've never had something even remotely close to going through my tire. So I don't know if it's a real thing to be concerned about, but yeah. Anyways, moving on. Then we've got this guy with that crazy looking frame. We've seen him at quite a few of the truck tug of wars. Super stiff. It's definitely like a truck tugging type truck. I just, I don't know. Everybody's got their own taste, their own flavor. Ooh, and he's got a freaking forklift counterweight on the front. That's kind of badass. Hell yeah. I think probably weighs a couple thousand pounds. Nice hood stack. He's a hood stack brother. I'm liking it. Oh, uh, I think that might be all the trucks. I'm gonna walk back over here to the wall and there's a truck that just pulled in that, you know, you can hear in the background, it sounds freaking killer. I'm gonna check him out. And there's like three more trucks I missed in the beginning. So let's cruise over there and look at those real quick. And then we're gonna head on over to the freaking shoot so we can freaking watch them. Truck tug of war, brother. Hell yeah. What do you got in that thing, bro? What's that? What kind of motor's in there? That's a 496. 496 with big old slicks? What's that? Hell yeah, thing's badass, dude. 496, he looks like he came to rip some people backwards. Big old ton of weight. I think each one of them plates like 100 pounds. He's got like a ton of them. And then a tank out even further. More leverage, more even more weight. That is quite a freaking truck tugging truck. Damn. All right, so now we just gotta hit the wall, the last couple of trucks we missed. We got the JSJ truck. Always a good freaking guy, puts on a good show. And he's, I think, the only other one that has nitrous. Pretty cool. So he's a nitrous brother. Pretty badass looking freaking mud truck, though, if I say so myself. Thing is super cool. Yeah, we already looked at this one. This is that demon truck. This is the Cummins I was telling you about earlier. No, this isn't. This is another Cummins. Cummins Turbo Diesel, and I guess his name is Step Up. <laughs> Pretty sweet, though. Good looking truck. And he's a hood stack brother, too. I like how those are catching on. And finally, we got another Power Stroke. Yeah. Whatever, I can respect a good build. Even if I'm not a Ford guy, I can respect it. I can always appreciate good workmanship. Welds look pretty good. Subframe looks pretty good. And he's got hydraulic steps. He's got a leg up on us. All right, now we got two more trucks and that's the full lineup. Betsy, old Betsy. Coming at you, live action. Fucking headers that are literally coming out. Cut off this big, that's why the hood's pulled. Oh, oh, brother. Well, I honestly didn't get to see it, y'all, but I'm. Can I hop up there so I can see too? Okay. All right, y'all. Now I'm up here and I can see what y'all were seeing. That's mother freaking real deal. That's how you stop destroying headers. Dude, I bet that looks awesome when you fly through the mud and it's shooting out the side. Hell yeah. What kind of engine is that? 427 big block. 427 big Okay. Kodiak, dirty over, fucking all torque. Yeah? All torque. How much horsepower do you need running? Maybe 300 if I'm lucky. 300? How much torque? About 700 foot pounds. Oh, oh brother. Old bets. Got a full roll cage in this girl. Damn, this thing's. This is a legit mud rig. Let's zoom the camera out. There we go. This is like a legit mud rig, y'all. Pretty freaking cool. 
Old Benson's ready for party time. And that's the last truck right over there. I don't know if he's gonna let me climb on it, so this might be a better vantage point so where y'all can see it. Pretty bang, dude. Pretty freaking bang. So, I'm gonna go ahead and hop down and we're gonna head on over to the freaking chute so we can start watching some ugh, truck tug and warrant. It's party time, y'all. Alright y'all, we got the flag out of the way now. We got the first pull coming up. Freaking party time! Hell yeah! It's Fructo time! Truck. Once it's next level on the back, super cool. And he's a hood stack, brother. Hell yeah. in truck tag one, don't do that. Don't just end it quick. Let the other guy blow his tires off. I said it in my other videos. I'm saying it again. Expect to this one, bro. Set it four. Right, who do we got up next? Our boy Dirt's coming with the town car. Yeah, brother. Let him know. Everybody like the bald eagle on the back, too. Freaking Gummins Herbody, so all over the hell yeah, truck. 
so be sure to check out. This is up next, that freaking adrenaline mega truck. All right, bro. Now I can't have my truck here, so you better light them up, bro. Better represent. So we came over to check on the mad scientist. What are you doing, dude? Ran out of M1. Why? I don't know. Because you used it all. Got too much power, I guess. Ooh, what a good oh, problem. Oh, yeah, oh. Listen to this guy. Gosh. Oh, God. Oh, oh. I'm stoked he's going to be working on my truck. That's exciting. <laughs> Everything running good? I, it seems down on power, but I guess we'll figure it out. Have you been riding in a lot of Duramaxes lately? Yeah, that's why I know that... I, what 100 horsepower feels, now we're way above that. See what he did there? He's being a dick. If he didn't pick up on it, he's yeah, being he a dick just then. Yeah. All right, y'all, now we got that big old girl going with those huge freaking tires. I think it's cool, but I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't want to mud it. I'd be super spooked I was gonna tip over. Look at how huge it is. Bro, how tall are them tires? 86s? Holy cow. He's going against the American Pride truck. Might be pretty good. It's that big old outlaw freaking Cummins going against a K Hoss German. Might be pretty sweet. See what that Cummins got. Comments versus Duramax, but it's DDC versus Bobby Brown. And round one goes to Heavy Metal Fab.
cigar. And our winner is Heavy Metal Fan with the K Hustle. Oh, we got oh. celebrities in the house. We got Mikey. We got Powder Coat Mikey. And I'm pretty sure he's got Jay's. Oh, he's got Slow Mo Style too. Oh, brother, this is gonna be a good one. It looks like he's going against a demon truck. This is gonna be a good one, y'all, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Exactly what happened to us right before I blew the motor at Idols. Hopefully he doesn't have that happen. Hopefully it's just a bit. Nobody knows right where he's at. Hopefully he's not the one who blew the motor. Hopefully he's
that Duramash, I done told you, you can't be messing with that Duramash freaking bald eagle. You said we have a pretty good showing now. A lot of people that are coming out. That'll come down here and they're like, we're going to come down here to the tug of war event that you guys are doing at the barn. And I'm like, great. Everybody here is wonderful. They're going to treat you like family. They'll probably offer you some weed. I don't know how. Not Thank a bad freaking turnout if I say so myself. Game, I think, Are you killing it? I'm killing it, brother. You know what I mean? When I'm that close to you, Zacho, I got no choice but to kill it. All right, Brian's up next. Two tugs left for the first round. This first one is against freaking Jose Avila, freaking tug of the year, going against that big dually freaking board. Oh my god! All right, all right. I guess that hit shut up, man. There don't work all that good. One second. Here. Somebody was asking how many straps we were going to break tonight. I said, I don't know, but that's that's one hitch down, right? So we got that. Man. Who landed that? Sure as hell wasn't me or the outside. I'll tell you that. Had it. 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 Had that is not a freaking mad scientist world, I'll tell you that. All right, y'all, so they've got a pendle hitch that they're putting in place of it, and they're using a strap to attach the big drop hitch, or raise hitch, whatever you want to call it. Check this out. So that is a wrap on the first round. Just got done handing out some koozies, a little bit of swag, a little bit of killing it swag. If y'all want some killing it swag, make sure you go to the website, killingitlifestyle.com. Got shirts, hats, stickers, koozies, you name it, it's on that freaking website. But yeah, so they're just finishing the driver's meeting right now. And then now we're gonna get into round two. It's freaking party time, yo. Hope you guys are liking it. Here we go, the mad scientist. That scientist is teaming up with that American pie truck and they're going against this other crazy looking thing that weighs like 25,000 pounds. This is going to be sick. We did have to locate a second strap, but the guys did that. So now we got American We're going to have a Brian sandwich. Teaming up so I kind of want to see the whole thing, but I Brian's going to like the tires off this son of a bitch. So I think we might have to hang out in the plant. Brian's going to have to hang out in the plant. I'll try to see if I can get as much of it as I can for y'all. Second strap. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
How freaking badass was that? All right, y'all, now we got the demon truck going again. Who's he going against? He's going against this guy. Oh, purple power. Oh, no. I got a dollar on this ball, and I just lost.
get this? Holy freaking crap, bro. Hey, we don't need everybody fucking sleep. Hey, we, we got this. Everybody and their brothers walking out. We appreciate it. They're all good. They're taking selfies. And they're, they're happy about this, lady. They're happy. Oh. Yeah, your, uh, your axle's gone, bro. Wow, they've rolled it all the way under the truck. Are y'all seeing what is going on in here? I never seen nothing like this ever before. Ever. This is the first. Wow. I'm glad y'all got to experience that with me. That was wild. Completely out of hand. Were you back here when it happened? I believe, from what I'm being told, everybody that saw the old thing happen with the Walrose truck at Cowboys, that this is actually worse. So. Done for the night. Pretty sure he is. The mad scientist just called me and said to come over and take a look at the axle that came out of that. And he said that I'm gonna love him and that that axle is why I listen to the mad scientist. Pretty curious what he means by that. Let's go find out. Ryan. Hi guys. Excuse me. So what happened? Everything happened. Look what about that? Four links? Bougie, bro. That's Zach, what kind of four links you got? Three eighths wall. That's okay. right. Okay. I didn't know. He made, you made them. <laughs> Big ones? Not those ones? Hey, did you build it or did you buy it? He helped me build it. He bought it. Uh. Fifteen minutes left. It's 9:45. We we're allowed to go till 10. So we get a couple more tugs in here. This has been one hell of a video so far, though, y'all. Huh? Super jealous. Come and serve us on your JSA truck. I don't know who that would have been. And then we're hearing loud music and engines.
we've ever seen. For sure. Even got a ride. Dude, you threw out about $2,000 worth of stuff. Life is good, man. You know? Freaking killing it! There it is. Thank you guys very much. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see y'all inside at the bar. Well, that's a wrap on our freaking truck tag video. Relax for a little bit. Thank you, guys. June 2020. 2022. Two years off. 2022. Hope you all enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, y'all. Boom. Psycho. <laughs> 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 We bring in the weight. If y'all enjoyed the video and want to check out future videos, subscribe to our channel. Hit that button right there. While you're at it, hit the like button at the bottom of your screen. You can also check out our website, killingitlifestyle.com. There you can follow the Killing It crew and order your own apparel so everyone will know you're killing it. <laughs>